Good everyone, good afternoon, and welcome to Harvard Law School. And as well, thank you for being here in such a warm day, especially to wear a suit. My name is Carlos Guerrero Alarcón. I am a Mexican LLM student and one of the 2024 class marshals. Today, it is an honor for me to announce the recipient of the 2024 Suzanne Richardson Staff Appreciation Award, Pamela Bennett. Events Operations Coordinator at Harvard Law School since 2022. Pam is in charge of every single student organized event in HLS, as most of us know, a seemingly unsurmountable task. However, thanks to her incessant efforts and the wavering support of the Harvard Law School staff, dozens of student organizations and journals successfully hosted 1,266 events during this academic year attracting global thought leaders and world-renowned threat practitioners to our campus, and reaching the academic dialogue that makes Harvard Law School a global leader in legal education. After having the pleasure of collaborating with Pam throughout the academic year, Pam taught me that quality is not an act, it is a habit. This is one of the countless lessons that Pam Bennett taught me, and I would like to share a couple more with you. First, love what you do, and do it as if you loved it. When you do what you love, you will be the best in your field, or at least you will be much better at it than anyone else who does not. Pam showed me that enthusiasm and sincere commitment to the task at hand and those involved are the keys to any successful undertaking. We can all agree that people are always good company when they're doing what they really enjoy, and Pam is always good company. Second, it is amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. Real teamwork manifests itself in shared results, to the extent in which common efforts are so inherently intertwined that trying to distinguish between the deeds of each person involved would be a doomed effort. Every day, working with dozens of students pursuing their passions, Pam makes it clear that real integrity is doing your best in spite of the possibility that no one may know whether you were the one who did it or did not. Last but not least, and as Winston Churchill once said, add to this a little thing that makes a big difference. Pam is not only a tremendous problem solver, but a problem solver who will always do her job with a smile. We can all agree that your attitude has an impact on the quality of your work and those who surround you. If you leave the room not only having done your job, but also making people's day a bit more pleasant, you will have succeeded twice. Pam always succeeds twice. As we, the Harvard Law School class of 2024, head into the professional world, having Pam's example in our minds is one of the most precious gifts this institution could have given us. Dear Pam, congratulations and thank you. So much. What an incredible honor it is to receive this award just by doing something that I love to do each and every day and is truly just me being me. All I can say is a huge thank you to the students that make this place so amazing. You make this old lady feel so young and involved. I know how prestigious this award is and the dedicated people that have received it before me were forces of nature. But I'm semi in charge of this shindig and that you're attending, and I don't have a lot of time to sit up here and brag about myself. But with more than 150 student organizations, journals, and SPOs, I have come to know so many of you. The phone calls at all, all hours of the day, that's okay. The emails over the weekend, I'll answer them. You forgot you needed a meeting room for a small group of 80 people starting in two hours, no problem. Your speaker canceled, what should we do? We can figure it out. You need to use a skill saw in the Austin basement. Make sure to wear safety goggles and don't tell anybody. You all know who you are and I love each and every one of you. The ones that have brought me baked goods and other treats, I may love you a little bit more. But in all seriousness, it doesn't matter your age, your political stand, your race, who you love or what you believe in. I love you all the same and would bend over backwards to help you out. Being lucky enough to be working with the students, I feel like I'm a part of history. 
I have met some incredible people in the last 18 months. It is amazing that with a phone call from a Harvard Law School student, the individuals that just show up at this place for a 45-minute lunch meeting. I have met politicians, heads of state, sports stars, actors, authors, and more, and all because you have invited me as if I belong there as part of your group. I take the role of fairy godmother very serious. Short, round, and maybe a little flighty, but trying to do anything in my power to make you and your organization successful, happy, and sometimes throwing in a little bit of magic to make sure that everything works. For those of you who need me, you know I will still have the same phone number and email, and if something comes up and you can't figure it out, or you just need a mom to talk to, I will always be there for you. I feel so lucky to have found this job. My director, Stacy Goodwin, was a caller and my leader at a previous job, and I am so glad that I followed such a true friend to HLS. The team I work with is small but mighty. Kathleen, Marie, Angelica, and especially my cellmate, Kara, I am lucky to have found some great friends among the people I'm honored to sit with every day. The amount of events this team is responsible for each year is mind-blowing, in the thousands. And each one of them is worked to perfection, not only by the events team, but our catering team, ITS, and the, cost the custodial staff. I am proud to call, you, call all of them my friends, not just coworkers. Harvard Law School is a strong community, and I can't do my job without every department in this school. If it's trying to move spaces around for those pop-up meetings and begging the registrar for help, making sure the city says it's okay to host the greatest show on earth with the help of facilities, finding out who is allowed to book the meetings with new organizations that seem to just pop up each week from SEEB, and I could keep going on forever, but as I have mentioned, there is the remainder of class day to make sure it runs smoothly and start to prepare, ooh, prepare for the incredible day tomorrow so you all graduate. So I soon need to say goodbye and run off stage because there are so many things to get done. As one of the most important people in my life, my mom has always taught me, just be the best version of yourself and everything else will fall into place. Everyone will not always like you, but you will find a group of people that will love you for who you are and then you know you are home. Well, I have finally found my work home at Harvard Law School, and as I tell people all the time, and to so many of you, I love my job. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart that swells with pride when I see my students making a difference in this world. Congratulations, class of 2024. Just one more thing before I run off stage. I can't believe that I've actually been talking for close to four minutes and I have not mentioned that the most important person in my life, my son Michael, is a pilot. I bet nobody here knew that. Thank you.